Hey guys, JV here, and today we're looking at the fifth Odin rune found in Valhalla. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos just like this. Over the weekend, we found a fifth Odin rune in Valhalla, so we're going to go look at that location, revisit some old theories, as well as explore new ones. Keep in mind, this is the fourth video in a series, so in case you missed any of the previous ones, click the cards on the screen now to catch up. Before we dive in, I recommend you guys check out the Ubisoft forums. There's a great little thread there where community members are really exploring every single nook and cranny and avenue to find a solution to this. There's a lot of great ideas here. So so I recommend you guys check it out, link in the description below. Here it is, the fifth Odin rune was found by Detective AJ in Sarapshire. It's on a cliff face west of Miningglow and west of Repton. It's kind of near nothing, which is interesting. You'll find this rune is a lot like the other ones. It's embedded into a rock formation. This one's a little bit different though because it's elevated. Most of the other ones you could reach just by walking up to them. Or in the case of the Sussex rune, you have to actually jump and grab onto you know, the rock face here and climb up to reach it. But also, like all of the other runes, we have no idea how to activate this thing. However, the fact that this is elevated makes it harder for me to justify like whacking it with something or using a melee weapon if you can't actually reach it. Speaking of, there's been a lot of comments in my recent mystery videos about how about you try this JV or do this thing. So I wanted to give you guys just like a full comprehensive list of things I've found that I can remember off the top of my head that just don't work with these runes in terms of like figuring out what exactly this does, what's at the end of this mystery, so on and so forth. First off, what are these runes? They're referred to as Odin's illusionary rune very vaguely on the internet. We don't know what they're for or why they're in the game, and we don't know what they unlock if they unlock anything. Here's a pretty complete list of things that I've tried to activate these runes. Shooting them or hitting them with mythical weapons. I'm talking about Odin's spear, Mjolnir, Nodin's arc, and Excalibur. None of that works. Pulsing with Odin's sight. Meditating. Stepping on these in a certain order. Listening for some kind of sound activation. Some of you may point out East Anglia, but I think that one's just a glitch. Blowing the horn. Calling Sunin and zooming in on the rune from above. Wearing any kind of armor set. Using any kind of tattoo. Finding the center of the runes on the map. Lighting them on fire, going underneath the map on Sussex, jump attacking the rune. I don't think we tried everything, but I do think it's likely that there's enough people trying random things like I've mentioned that it's not going to be something like that. It's going to be very specific to this mystery. We're going to know that it's connected once we uncover it, which is why for now, I think our best bet is to keep looking for these runes, keep finding them, keep getting more data that maybe will paint a clearer picture for us. All of the runes we've found so far are on rock formations. So if you guys out there want to look for things, just look around rocks, look on rock faces, but also on you know, just like horizontal rocks on the ground, because two of our runes so far have been runes that you can walk over. It's not to say that maybe there are some runes like underwater or in places that we don't expect, but in my eyes, that's our safest bet right now. Now let's take a look at the updated map with the fifth rune. Now I've got this full map from Map Genie, so link in the description if you're looking for collectibles. It's a great resource. I took their map and added some green dots for our runes. With the fifth rune, I revisited the rune idea of just overlaying the shape of the rune on the map. And Guys, it's just really hard to make this like fit anymore. I think it was a good idea, but eh, I don't know. A lot of you sent me the Vegvisir or Vigvisir. This is an Icelandic rune that represents a wayfinder or a signpost. Apparently, this is a magical stave intended to help the bearer find their way through rough weather. Basically, it's like a runic compass. And when you overlay it on the map, I'm not convinced because you really have to stretch it to get this to work and you can even make it bigger and then it makes the other runes like not line up. So eh, I don't really see this as a solution. The other Icelandic symbol is the Valknut, which vaguely reminds us of Abstergo, obviously. But I don't think I've seen this anywhere in Valhalla unless I missed it. The specific meaning is not known. It's sometimes associated with Odin. Once again, if you overlay it over the map, there's nothing concrete, like I tried to line it up with the points of the triangles here, or like in the center where these intersect, and eh, nothing. LT sent me this really cool map over on our Discord server and makes some great observations 
observations about runes, what we know so far, including directions. And it kind of feels like some of these directions point to the other runes on the map, but if you draw a line, they don't point exactly in the same direction. Looking at the Alliance map with Ranvi in the settlement, here are the territories so far that have a rune. And of course, there's more territories to the north up there. But yeah, I mean, the more runes we find, the more I like the idea that there could be one rune per territory. A lot of people have been sending me that, except maybe for the cities, or maybe there are some runes in cities. I don't know if anyone specifically has searched a city yet, but I'm sure they have. As a community, we've been searching a ton over the last several days, over the last week, and we haven't found another rune in about two days. And it's kind of been funny every time I upload these videos, someone pops up with another rune. And so I'm kind of hoping that happens again today. Next, I wanted to address a lot of comments, basically pointing out the fact that I haven't been paying attention or looking into Norse mythology as sort of the answer or the reason why these runes are where they are, where they are or how many there might be, so on and so forth. The truth is, Guys, I just don't feel qualified. Uh, again, I am just a guy who plays Valhalla and makes YouTube videos. That doesn't mean I can't like Google this stuff and figure stuff out, but generally speaking, I, I just think we should be looking in the game more than outside of the game. It's more than possible that the answer does lie. Maybe there's a clue in some kind of Icelandic saga or even one of the references that Darby gave us, a long list of things that he read to inspire him and prep him to write the narrative for Valhalla. But if you look at the other mysteries we've had in this game, for example, the Excalibur and Noden's Ark mystery, all of that was very specific to the game. The clues were in the game or they were on the collector's edition, something like that. So while it is good to look outside of the game for inspiration, just realize that, yeah, I think we're going to find something in Valhalla that specifically points us to what we need to do. So for the rest of the video, we don't have an answer yet. Let's look at a bunch of theories you guys have sent me. First is obviously connected to that Noden's Ark Excalibur theory. There was a clue on the description for Excalibur directly pointing us to what we needed to do for that mystery. So people are wondering, look at the Odin Spear, Gungnir. The description for this says the weapon never missed its mark. So does that mean we have to like poke this weapon somewhere and that'll give us a clue? Maybe poke it on the runes and maybe that'll activate them? Obviously, so many people have tried that. I've tried that. It just doesn't work. But maybe we have to poke this thing somewhere specific in order to illuminate a map, something like that. Next up, over on my Discord server, Lars sent this message of a weird symbol on a tree in Glowichestershire. So I visited this symbol, and yeah, once you pulse Odin Sight, it's not carved into the tree like the runes are into rock or anything like that. So it made me think more like this is just set dressing more than anything. You can find these in several other places around Glowichestershire and also different symbols. There's one here on the Hobbit house or near the Hobbit house in Glowichester proper. So that made me think a little bit like less of that theory. However, I also got a message from Sneaky Ninja on Twitter mentioning that there is a same symbol in Jotunheim. You find this when you go there for the Jotunheim arc for that story, but this is an illusion, right? Where you position the camera and it sort of changes the world in front of your eyes. So this makes me think, do we have illusions in Valhalla proper, like in reality for Eivor instead of in this dream state? And if we did, I feel like we would have figured that out by now. Maybe we need some kind of item in order to trigger the illusion and we'll get some kind of cue that'll let us know, hey, this is when you need to position your camera and try to find the right angle. One more theory was sent to me on Twitter by Ray Vaj, and they found this hidden room in Asgard, which is behind the Well of Urdu statues. Again, this is an area you visit during the story in that arc. But if you climb up this wall and go into this cave, you'll find it's a hidden room, almost very similar to the one in Sussex. There's even a little area where you can fall below the map, and I did do that. I didn't take the opportunity to explore underneath Asgard because I don't really think that, you know, is specific to this mystery. But yeah, it's totally similar to that hidden cave in Sussex. Beyond that, though, there's no real connection here. Still makes me wonder, are we supposed to find things in these hidden rooms? There's no rune, to be clear, by the Well of Urdu, so... Eh, I don't know. 
And one more theory, a lot of people have referenced the Berserker's armor and the fact that this symbol, the Odin's illusionary rune, refers to shapeshifting. So they thought, hey, maybe the Berserker armor or something to do with the Berserker quest is related specifically to this mystery. And we just haven't found anything here. People have equipped the Berserker armor and visited these runes and it's not activated anything. At this point, I'm thinking maybe we need to think backwards. Like we need to find a map or some kind of reference or an item that activates these when we're near them. Some things don't have a purpose yet, like finding all of the fireflies or the Rigasur pages, which is an interesting one. There doesn't seem to be anything that these lead to. Not every single collectible, though, has to have like a pot of gold at the end of their rainbow. It doesn't have to have a purpose. It could just be there to flesh out the world or give you something interesting to do. So I think it's important to also remember that. And that is all we know about the mystery for the moment. No real new developments outside of finding the fifth rune, but I just want to keep you guys up to date. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the subscribe button and click the bell to receive live notifications so you don't miss my next video. You can also follow me on Twitter, I'm at JV on YT, and Instagram, JV.YT, to stay up to date with this mystery. Plus, if you want to chat more about what we're talking about here or other games, join our community Discord server over at discord.gg slash JV on YT. Links for all of these are in the description below. Big thanks to my YouTube members, Ultrafans, Dave, Grass, Deadwalker, Bill, Cam, and Cohen. Superfans Kamal, Casey, Tipsy Sergey, Tarl K, Ryan, and Tia. Fans John, Matthew, Spyro, JVO, Level 42, Joe, Lil Man, and Blood Sky. And my supporters Nos, Nightmare, Sung, Taryn, Adam, Blaze, Mr. Hollow, Quickness, Firkin, Abishek, Rivi, John, and Jennifer, and Jay, and Sam for supporting the channel. If you want to support me further, click the join button below this video. In exchange for your support, you'll unlock custom badges, emotes, and monthly play sessions with the community. Click the link in the description for more information. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.